Now we'll uh, begin to generate the second part of the pier, the top part. So to do that, first click on group again here and double click on subgroup 1 to select only these parts. Then uh, click on translate elements, this option here, and we'll choose move. So we'll move these plate elements. Um, equal distance and for the DZ choose 8.5 and just click on apply. So you see the section will be uh, moved at this point here. Now activate only this section. So uh, select these elements only. So you can use for example the polygonal selection. Go in the View tab and click on Activate. Now click on Top to view the mesh like that. You can uh, uncheck the Shrink and see the Node uh, ID, for example. So the third thing we'll do is to translate these two nodes here and here. So um, first thing we'll have to activate again the nodes because I inactivate the nodes. Click OK. Um, then go into the isometric view. Uh, we'll choose select only this node, these two nodes here. Okay. Um, go into the node element window and choose translate node. Uh, it will be copy for the distance dz minus 1.5. And one for the number of time, just click on apply. And now you see uh, these two nodes have been created here. Now uh, we'll do the same. Um, with two other nodes. So again, select single. And we'll select this node here. And this one. Um, copy equal distance. Uh, again, this time we'll use minus 2.5 for the DZ uh, and click on apply. Okay. Uh, now there's again two other nodes to copy. So we'll copy um, these nodes, one, two, three, four, the fourth node from this side on this part, and one, two, three, four, the fourth node on the, this on that side. Now um, for the distance, use uh, zero, zero, minus two for dz, one, click on apply. And now we'll create the body of the pier uh, by extruding these plate elements uh, until these nodes. So uh, to do that, go on group again, uh, double click on the subgroup 2, go into extrude elements, choose planar elements solid. Mm, this time you can check the remove because we will not use these elements afterwards. Uh, confirm that you use solid uh, and for the generation type we'll use project. So it will be project on plane. Um, and here for the P1 you can choose uh, P2 here and P3 it will be this node at this position. And check direction vector 0, 0, minus 1 here and finally uh, we want to divide this so divide equal in five divisions click and apply and it will generate your uh, peer now we'll do the same for the subgroup 3 so again double click on the subgroup 3 um, again translate elements so uh, copy, uh, not, not translate, extrude, sorry, 
plan element solid element you can check the remove um, translate equal distance this time it will be uh, equal distance for the thick uh, here for the DZ you can enter minus 0 0.5 and 5 times click on apply and you got the mesh and now go in the group again double click on subgroup 4 uh, go in extrude elements planner elements solid choose project again project on a plane and select these three nodes direction vector uh, 0 0 minus 1 divide in 5 time and click on apply go in the group again double click on subgroup 5 extrude planar element solid element mm, check the remove Translate equal distance minus zero zero and minus zero point four and five times. Now click on apply and finally you get um, the head of the pier. So we can uncheck the display of the nodes here. We can display all the elements. Okay, and to view better, we can inactivate the nodes. Okay. Now we'll delete all the plate elements that we used to create the solid elements uh, via the extrude function because we don't need these elements anymore. So to do that, we'll uh, here use this select identity option click on plate and click on add and you see these there's still some plate elements here that we don't need so just click on the delete button of your keyboard to delete these elements now to create the second part of the pier we'll just use the mirror option so go back in the node elements tab click on mirror uh, select all the elements on the screen then choose the copy option uh, yz plane and enter 0 in the section here in the x field then click on apply and you get your full model now we have to check that uh, the current nodal connections between the elements are uh, are correct. So to do that, we'll go in the structure uh, view, and you have a button here: check duplicate elements. So if it's uh, doing this sound, it means it's okay. Um, then click on display free edges, and you see uh, the free edges. It seems okay too. So I will inactivate this option, and now we can begin. Uh, the next step of the tutorial that will be to uh, enter the load ding uh, informations so go in load and we'll define first some static load cases so for the name enter uh, self weight the load case will be uh, the type of load case is a dead load so click on add now enter vertical load it's also dead load click on add and the last one will be seismic loading and it will be an earthquake type of load so uh, find uh, the type earthquake mm -hmm. 
and click on add. Now click on close. Now we can create the self weight by clicking on self weight. Verify that the load case associated with the self weight is the self weight load case. And to minus one is the z in the z direction. And click on add to add this self weight. Now we'll assign the other two loads. Uh, that will be assigned to the nose of the top of the pier. So uh, the first thing we'll do is to activate the nodes only at the top of the structure to specify the vertical load applied. So um, I have to activate again the nodes. So go in the display, click on OK. And to uh, activate only these nodes, we'll uh, right click and select plane. Now enter the plane, click on XY plane, enter 10.5, click on apply to select the nodes here. You can close this window and in the view tab, click on activate. Now you can go in the top view to see uh, the nodes of the top of the pier. We'll create the first nodal load. We can model load, so model load. Uh, assign it to, to vertical load, add, and enter the value in the FZ direction. It will be minus 430. Now uh, we have to select the nodes on which this load is applied. So we'll use this uh, select by window option to select the specific nodes on which it is applied. So uh, it will be three nodes here, and every three nodes, select these nodes, one, two, three, here. Okay, now that you've selected these nodes, just click on Apply. So uh, if you come back in the isometric view, you see your P1 uh, load has been assigned like that. Now you can go back to top view and we'll assign the second load, which is the seismic loading. So this time it will be in the uh, FX direction. So uh, enter the value 520 in the FX direction and select these nodes, these three nodes here and click on apply to assign this uh, load. Now go back in the isometric view and to see the two loads at the same time you can go into display load and activate the nodal load here and now you can see on the screen all the nodal loads in your model. Now we'll activate again all the elements uh, and we'll deactivate the nodes. Okay. Now that we've done that, we have to assign the boundary condition to our model. So uh, we'll select the plane of the bottom of the pier. So it is the x, y uh, plane. Just enter zero for the z position. Click on apply. Now go into boundary tab. Click on define support. Add and check the DOL to fix all the translation degree of freedom. Now click on apply and click on redraw. And now your model is uh, configured. Now you can go in the next step, which is to perform the structural analysis. So uh, go in the analysis tab. We'll check before launching the analysis. We'll check the analysis options. So be sure to use the multi-frontal sparse Gaussian. Click on OK, and 
click on the button perform analysis to launch the analysis. Now the analysis is complete, so uh, you can see here the time of execution, which is uh, 7 seconds, and you have the information about uh, analysis in the message window.